hi guys and welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a hair tutorial video I'm literally going for the big massive lion's mane hair what is it looking quite big today actually for my hair so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Lee Stafford chopstick styler so it's literally it's so thin, I don't know if you can see that, that's my finger, it is smaller than my finger. This might take me a while, so I'm just going to turn that on and while I wait for that to heat up, I'm just going to clip my hair up into sectionals. That was a bit geeky, wasn't it? Sections. So what I'll do is, um, I'll grab my hair from just above my ear at both sides and just section it off. like so grab it twist it twist it I'm just on top of your head like that so I'm just popping the the clip through there and like voila we just have the bottom layer out so it's just like that the whole of the bottom layers out and literally what I'm going to be doing is grabbing sections from each side probably small little sections brushing as I go through it usually just takes a few minutes to heat up so I always get really bored waiting so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go probably behind my head and over like so facing away from my face and literally just wrap it round as many times just hold it there for a few seconds these are gonna be like doll like curls do not worry, just unravel it. So literally you've got something like that, it's literally like doll, pot doll curl. Don't worry it's not going to stay like that. So literally that is what you want to, it to look like. It is quite hard to unravel because it's raveled round so many times so my advice is wrap it round, wrap it round and then as you get to the end and you've left it on for a little while just unravel it round like so. So I'm just going to grab another piece of hair and this time I'm going to put it towards my face because I really, I don't want the hairs to be, sorry I'm just looking in the mirror down there, I don't want them to start entwining with each other if, if that's a word because if you curl them all the same way they tend to entwine with all each other. So when you've done that you just want to pull it all off. Oops, messed up a little bit there, but it's fine. So there's your next curl. So um, I'm just going to curl the whole of the rest of this, and I will. I'll keep recording, but I'll fast forward if I feel like I'm pointing. I'm pointing. <laughs> And when you've done all your bottom of your hair, it's going to look something like this, like little ringlets. Just, oh, I've missed a bit there. See the difference in length of hair? Then my hair feels really, really short. I mean, my hair's not that long anyway, but that last little piece. I'm just going to section off the next part of my head. Just take that down section of the top part that in and just like before I'm going to curl all of it and this is not for the faint hearted because this hairstyle does take a while I'm warning you now so I shall be back when I've done this so far it's taken me half an hour just do the bottom half 
and that's with rushing and not really taking any care because I don't want this video to be for lasting forever so I do warn you again it'll probably take you quite a while if you are going to use this curler so I've done the rest of the bottom half of my hair so I'm just going to unclip this last piece but I'm going to split it into two because depending on which way I want my part that's why I split it into but you'll see that's what it's looking like from the back so far I, c I don't actually know what it looks like at the back at the moment I haven't looked in the mirror I've been using a tiny little mirror down there and kind of the phone screen at the same, at the same time and this bit I'm going to curl but I think I'm gonna have I might have my part in here depending on where my part is is which way you curl so say like if my part was there you make sure you curl all these this way and all these this way final top bit But don't you find when you're curling your hair, your first few curls, you just do them so perfectly and take your time and then when you get halfway through, you get naked, arm ache, and you think, oh, bugger it, I'm just gonna, just gonna wang them round. But you get faster and faster, don't you? Look like, um, telephone wire. <laughs> got all that you just want to unclip the other side and let it all down whoa it's crazy it feels so weird I've never had my hair this curly before That's what the finished result looks like. That's what it looks like from the back. So now, you can leave it like this if you want to have a little bit of afro hair, but I'm not gonna leave it like that. What I'm wanting to do is, um, the worst thing you could do is brush it, do not brush it. You want to try and separate your ringlets. So if you want to like gently comb through using your fingers, but do not use a brush that would be a nightmare because your hair would just look fluffy and all all the work that you've done would have been for nothing so just gently don't grab too hard just gently comb your hands through I mean lift it over the side comb the hands through the bottom but if you want to concentrate just keep combing until you're at the volume that you like because trust me you can get it massive doing this huge hair like look at the difference between the volume of sides and it just feels so nice like literally it looks massive I'm just going to do the other side manipulate it as much as you can literally by brushing it through because the more you brush it through with your fingers literally it's getting massive <laughs> so this is the finished look I don't know if it's to everyone's cup of tea I decided to part my hair on this side because it just made it even more voluminous but it's absolutely massive is my hair so that is the end of the video Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I also have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter page. I'll link everything in the description box below. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you in my next video.